Why would the Jews burn the town that they own? Ha ha. Hollywood. Ha 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 ha. Uh, because <laughs> money, of course. Uh, so the, the story goes, gentlemen, that M- <laughs> MTG, she was perusing some stocks, perusing some stocks. Uh, she came across a stock for PG&E. If you guys don't know, that's Pacific Gas and Electric, much like okay. BG&E in here. Pacific Gas and Electric, right? Pacific, Pacific Gas and Electric is chaired by Roger Kimmel. He's, the, he's on the board of directors. He's also the vice chair of the Rothschilds Incorporated. That's right. Dun, dun, right. So there's, there's, there's our hook, guys. There's, there's the Jewish funding <clears throat> in there. So, right. right? PG&E, PG&E, obviously, influenced by a Rothschild board member, vice chair. We keep going down the hole, right? So... The Rothschilds and PG&E, you know, have made some deals making sure that Governor Jerry Brown is protecting PG&E in that investment. So we've got the governor tied in here. We're tying everybody in, right? So PG&E donating, uh, PG&E donating to Jer- Governor Jerry Brown. Governor Jerry Brown protected PG&E. PG&E, PG&E being funded by the Rothschilds, of course, all behind the scenes, right? Good with that. Let's get to, uh, I believe, I don't know if she's a representative or a senator, Weinstein, Feinstein, Diane Feinstein, Diane, I think yeah. her name. Well, it's uh, Steen, so it's automatically suspect, but go on. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Feinstein, more, more, Jewish, uh, more Jewish propaganda, more Jewish clues, guys. Yeah. Uh, might as well just put a Star David on it, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> her husband, Richard Bloom, happens to be the contractor responsible for that billion-dollar high-speed rail project that Governor Jerry Brown is so fond of. And it just so happens that where these fires took place, they took place right down the projected path of said high-speed rail system. So, guys, I don't know about you, but putting all those pieces together, it certainly sounds to me like the Rothschilds have influenced the gas and electric company that services all of California, and the governor has proceeded to ensure that PG&E can operate without bounds. And so the lasers have been pointed directly at the high-speed rail pathway so that Diane Feinstein's contractor husband can get rich and everybody hmm. can get rich. I'm going to give credit (coughs) where credit's due because initially when you started going off on this connection this dot connecting trail that most conspiracy theorists do typically it's like and so and so knows each other and blah 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 and they know each other, and they're friends and they're a part of a, a committee and a board and a trust and da, da 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 and lasers were shot okay and really you 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 man i hate to admit it there there seems to be some motive to this with you know wanting to create this fucking uh yeah, we've heard about it. You could go from L.A. to San Francisco in, what, 30 minutes or 45 minutes or something like that. And they're yeah, they're going to do a transcontinental one, followed by that, et cetera, et cetera. It's just I get to a point where they, they have to uh, they have to pin the fires on something. Then space lasers come in. That's where uh, I, did forget, <laughs> I did forget one connection. My apologies. Uh, okay. PG&E um, partnered with a company called Solarin who uh, specialized in space solar generators. Um, mm. so that's really the, I forgot that critical link. Yeah, okay. That ties in all of the money, the technology, right. and the state of California funding uh, the lasers in space, powered by solar generators, clearly. Uh, yeah. That's going to make somebody $77 billion when that high-speed rail system goes in, is all I'm saying. Mm. So now the Jewish space lasers, mm-hmm. uh, I imagine they're, they're satellite-based lasers. Yeah, I believe so. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the theory is that they activated the space lasers to go ahead and clear a path in the woodlands in order just to say, hey, ain't nothing there now anyway. Might as well put a fucking railway. So is that the, is that the theory? Yep. Right. That okay. The theory. All right. It kind of had Damn. the same kind of like look uh, as the uh, the Mars Attacks beam, the beams from, from the movie Mars Attacks. It kind of had the same like, <laughs> that's ex- spitting <laughs> image. There are so many links to this. I, I forgot one more. Guys. I just want to add <laughs> one little bit for you. Uh, one little bit for you. Um, Michael Peavy, um, he's on the he's on the board of Solarin. Mm-hmm. Uh, he also used to be the president of the California Public Utilities Commission. Um, mm. So you know, regulating pretty much all of this. Right. It, what? what it, it just seems to me that, 
that if you just have all the names, you can reverse engineer any conspiracy you want. Basically. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it, it's odd to these people that a lot of rich uh, Jewish people are, are in cahoots in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it be a committee, politics, uh, just property owners, or uh, they own various companies that do business with one another. I mean, that right there is suspicious uh, to, right. to, to, to most conspiracy theorists. I guess it's just like, okay, if they wanted this done, why wouldn't they just send a couple fucking hobos out there to burn it? What what do they need lasers in space to, to, to clear a path? Well... I think the lasers are undetectable. Uh, ah, quite you see, gotcha. like, you get a fucking, you get a hobo and you, you catch him lucid for like a half an hour and he mm -hmm. spills his guts, you're fucked. Right. Now, yeah, you could probably beat that in court, you know, decent lawyer, but it's a risk. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an open end. You know, if, if gangster movies has taught me anything, you got you to gotta close those. Yeah, close you can't, loops. Can't leave, yeah, you close those loops. You can't have those. Uh yeah, guys. I just like that she ends it with, "What do I know? I just read a lot. <laughs> read a lot of what? <laughs> Cracker Jack boxes? <laughs> you fucking crazy cunt! And God damn! Off the rails, guys. <sighs> Space lasers. I don't know. I got I, I, I know that Ronald Reagan had flirted with the idea of a Star Wars, where he had said, uh, uh, <clears throat> "What the if, if Rush if the Russians shot nukes out of the atmosphere that they were gonna they were gonna blast them with." Uh, with lasers, I don't know if they were they're Jewish Jewish nukes Jewish nuke lasers, uh, but and that technology hadn't even been existed. I've heard that that they're still kind of cra scratching the surface of being able to shoot something at a, at a incoming asteroid. That that if one were to happen in the next month, that we we can't do that. Now, that's not to say I don't think that you, you, I certainly don't think it's beyond the realm of science to blast something from space and cause a fire i i'm certain. listen if an asteroid comes at us armageddon style and we don't send a fucking deep sea drilling team up there to try to figure that shit out i'm going to be fucking pissed off that's all i'm saying it's at least worth the shot you just need to it's worth a shot you need to aim the Jewish laser at the asteroid. <laughs> we just spin the Jewish laser. See, here's the problem, though. The Rothschilds charged by the hour. <laughs> well, <laughs> the fucking steep, man. we'll be in debt to him again. I don't know. <laughs> and and by the way, I, I just don't want you to besmirch uh, the good name of my Lord and Savior, Ronald Reagan, because he did ask the Department of Defense is like, uh, is this a conceivable thing? And they were like, uh, well, you know, theoretically. And he just said, I'm going to go with it. Because he just figured the Russians were too dumb to like, they, well, if I just say this, they'll think we have it. Mm -hmm. And so we did, we, we're, we can do, it's not with lasers. Apparently the way we can uh, take uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles out of space is we basically just have like these old rust bucket satellites that are designed to explode. And then they'll get real close to it. And then they'll just, and they'll blow up the warheads. Right. So I, that was just an ingenious bluff on his part. So I don't want to put him in the. Uh, I just don't want to get him woven into the Jewish space laser right. uh, QAnon report. My, no, no, no. my, my yeah. point. My point was is, is, is yeah, the, te the technology yeah. existing or not. Um, <laughs> I, the other thing is, I, I, want, I really want to know why is this expediting the process? Was the was the government or were, were, did they have protesters or? Uh, advocacy groups that weren't about building this railroad because I thought this was you know when this came about two or three years ago that this was kind of the the, the technological spin of the country Christ transcontinental trains it could take you take you from one place to another in fucking you know half hour an hour a couple hours you know it's it's been decades in the making that we figure out how to do what Europeans do um, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm for, it, if it takes Jewish space lasers to get us there, I'm for it. Yeah. All I'm <laughs> well, just to add another wrinkle to the uh, you know the conspiracy here. So uh, Elon Musk, non-Jew, Jeff Bezos, non-Jew. What are they doing? They're trying to create um, different types of transportation, public transportation. Elon wants to go underground, and uh, Bezos wants to go above ground with the Hyperloop thing. Mm -hmm. So, or that might even be Musk as well non-jew okay so 
they have to keep this technology out of the hands of the Gentiles. Well, see, I think the Jews have a monopoly on the laser game. Um, but what you're talking about is more like levitation, uh, magnetic, mm. you know, magnetic fields and such, uh, which is a totally different engineering field. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. You know, there's room for everyone is all I'm saying. I, I, and that that leads me to uh, because you say the Jews have a monopoly on the laser game. And me and Dewey theorized and this came about when we were trying to figure out easy pass technology. And basically, it just is beyond us. So we summed it up as, as lasers were involved. And then we said, if you throw lasers on the end of anything, it makes it feasible. So I think in MJ G's case, I don't know where the fires <laughs> came from. Lasers. <laughs> Mars attacks. Well, she does say that. Uh, hold on. Uh, there was a, I guess there was some fucking there was just people standing around. I don't know. She didn't really give a good description, <laughs> but she said some people said they saw some blue lights. Yeah. And flashes. Mm -hmm. So because blue is not a color that fire burns. <laughs> now, I do have to say, I think the lasers theory that you're coming up with, Wes, kind of holds water because uh, my optometrist, Jewish, what's he specialize in? LASIK eye surgery. What is LASIK specialize in? Lasers to your eyes. What are your eyes? Gateways to your soul. What are they doing with these eye lasers? Are they correcting your vision or are they programming your mind? This is like a being John Malkovich without being John Malkovich. It, it scares me. And in laser from the original American Gladiators was probably the biggest Jew of them all. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 